No, I have been involved uh, in TB control from 1976 onwards. See that we are the ones who started uh, RNTCP in medical colleges. And uh, KGMC was the first dot center to be established in medical college way back in 96. If I remember my PG days in 70s, we used to get drug resistance report in six months, eight months. Today, really, thanks to the new diagnostics like gene expert, like LPA, like LPA2, and even gene sequencing has come up in a great way. Now we can boost that, we can di diagnose drug resistance, tuberculosis in practice about in one week's time. So that's a great change has occurred. In this change, I think the India has also contributed. You know the, the TrueNet machine, which is a totally an Indian machine and, and it is as good as a gene expert and a lot of uh, centers it is being used. I see future, I usually talk that as we have universal DST today, we'll have universal treatment for tuberculosis. Probably one or two treatment that will be for all sorts of treatment, be a drug sensitive, be various forms of uh, drug resistant tuberculosis like MDRNA. That's my dream actually. And I hope in my lifetime it will be fulfilled. So as I said, I'll repeat again, as we have come to the First we come to the universal access to the all health and then we come to the universal DST, diagnosis. Everybody whom we are treating today, we should know whether it is drug sensitive tuberculosis or drug disease. said science is not at the fault. The prevent, the, the, the implementation, that's a big word I always say. If, if we have been able to implement thoroughly and very religiously, where should be the TB? Because I am teaching to work last 50 years by now and my first slide always shows that TB is 10% curable disease provided you write the correct prescription and from patient side you meet your patient that he consumes those medicines. If these two things are met, we have new diagnostics, new therapeutics which is going to change the scenario of tuberculosis in future. TB is a social disease. It's not only the diagnosis and treatment is going to solve. Where are we in the fight against TB? Where do you see? Because you began with the RNTCP began in 97 and even way before that, sir. So over to you. Thank you, Bobby, for really, uh, I'm seeing you for last so many years. So as you have asked a question that where, where we are as far as TB elimination or NTB strategy is concerned, which is currently in a process. You know, I have been involved uh, in TB control from 1976 onwards. Uh, our department, KGMC, used to take part in the uh, national TB control program at that time. And we have injected uh, streptomycin and given six tablets of isoniazid. That was an uh, intermittent regime in those days. Then I saw the conversion into the revised national TB control program. I was very lucky that we are the ones who started uh, RNTCP in medical colleges. And uh, KGMC was the first dot center to be established in medical college way back in 96. So since then we are seeing it now RNTCP, you know name in 2019, it has been revised as a national TV elimination program. Why this name was changed? Because we are moving towards elimination of TB from the world including my own country that is India. We have progressed a lot. There are a lot of new investigation. If I remember my PG days in 70s, we used to get drug resistance report in six months, eight months. Today, really, thanks to the new diagnostics like gene expert, like LPA, like LPA2, 
even gene sequencing has come up in a great way. Now we can boost that. We can di diagnose drug resistance, tuberculosis in practice about in one week's time. So that's a great change has occurred. In this change, I think the India has also contributed. You know the the TrueNet machine, which is a totally an Indian machine, and, and it is as good as a gene expert, and a lot of uh, centers it is being used. Then on the treatment front, you see, we have all new drugs, whatever is available is available in India. I have been part of many these guidelines and we have seen the metamorphosis, changing regimen from longer regimen to shorter regimen to newer long, long and all oral regimen injections are phased out. So we have very good regime to treat tuberculosis. And uh, you know, my, my perception how uh, it is going to be in future. I see future, I usually talk that as we have universal DST today, we'll have universal treatment for tuberculosis. Probably one or two treatment that will be for all sorts of treatment be a drug sensitive, be various forms of uh, drug resistant tuberculosis like MDR. That's my dream actually. And I hope in my lifetime it will be fulfilled. So as I said, I'll repeat again, as we have come to the, first we come to the universal access to the all health. And then we come to the universal DST, diagnosis. Everybody whom we are treating today, we should know whether it is drug sensitive tuberculosis or drug resistant. My, my dream is the way science is moving, I believe that, uh, that, that it will be having a universal treatment for practically all also and what would be the beauty of universal treatment? A lot of studies has come, even guidelines WHO has changed in 2020 last year when we have got a shorter regimen for drug sensitive TB. Even three months regimen is available. Although in country it is going to be, I think very soon it is going to be followed. For drug resistance we have come to six months. So that thing has already happened. But what is my concern and worry is, science I say never fails. Science has done his job one best. Whatever is possible in diagnostic, in therapeutic, even in preventive. You know in the prevention of tuberculosis which is very essential. If you want to end the TB uh, from the world, which program is running today, finally culminating into TB elimination, without the preventive treatment, without the new vaccine, probably it would be difficult. So we are moving towards that preventive treatment has been introduced in India very well. And uh, the vaccine, I think, is we are hoping that it will come soon. So these things will ultimately we will be able to eliminate tuberculosis from India also. Although our Prime Minister has made it five years earlier, so 25 is not very far off. We are talking in 24, I hope that. And only problem I, I see sometimes, as I said, science is not at the fault. The prevent, the, the, the implementation, that's a big word I always say. If, if we have been able to implement thoroughly and very religiously, where should be the TB? Because I am teaching to work last 50 years by now, and my first slide always shows that TB is 10% curable disease, provided you write the correct prescription and from patient side, you make your patient that he consumes those medicines. If these two things are met, we have new diagnostics, new therapeutics, which is going to change the scenario of tuberculosis in the future. Yes, I think in next 21 months is very important for this country. As it is the dream of our beloved Prime Minister, Se Modi. And only thing what I see, as I said, I'll repeat that science-wise we are very good. Every regimen, whatever board has, in India, we have all those regimen free of cost. But the implement, probably we have to work more on implementation, 
we have to involve society it has to be our ladies has been made in india probably we have to increase it as a as a as a social movement that everybody who got tuberculosis must come to these uh, centers where free of th everything is free and must complete the therapy if we really want to fulfill this dream of on and i always say that time has come it is not only the doctors it is public it is so, it is whole society has to work in a mission mode so wherever there are cases of tuberculosis they are detected they are treated i am a pretty sure from my 50 years experience if every patient gets the good treatment and he completes we are going to meet somewhere this at the end of 25 if we are not able to meet it even say for a loud thinking at least we'll reach nearby and the movement has been there in india you know jan it has been made as a jan andolan jan andolan bana diya gaya hai and this has to be uh, propagated further it has to be improved implementation issues has to be very very careful things the vaccination is another thing if india can produce vax covid which is supplied for many countries of the world so india should move for and it is moving i know that it is moving forward hope to get a very soon a good vaccine which can prevent even you know in india the adult bcg vaccination has been started in the program very 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 lately and i think that 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 might help in 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 eliminating the tuberculosis sir that probably everyone in the society has to be involved has to move in a such fashion that that every patient of tuberculosis gets diagnosed and treated and you know that tb is a social disease it's not only the diagnosis and treatment is going to solve there are many other issues like poverty like many issues i think everything has to be tackled to the, together to 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 eliminate tb from our society thank you bobby thank you